Okay, uh, part two. J just uh, to, I want to wrap up the, the last part. I had to take a call. I was um, on a conference call with a, an old friend, actually, and I, I, I haven't seen him in 25 years. Um, and actually, he was um, one of my uh, – so I went to this when I was in high school, the uh, National Leadership Conference, uh, which is held in uh, – uh, Shelby, Michigan, with the American Youth Foundation in um, um, in Shelby, Michigan. Yeah, Shelby, Michigan. So um, Camp Minnewanka, many waters, right? So uh, it's yeah, it's a Lakota name, and yeah, lots of stuff. But at, at any rate, so I met him there when I was, uh, I think I was fifteen, and uh, pretty pretty neat guy. He's now doing some equestrian. Uh, therapy stuff out in, in Portland. Um, but at any rate, um, j just want to, uh, so, so he called. So, uh, but I do want to wrap up this last piece in, in s stating that it's important that we, in dealing with systemic issues, uh, do not get drunk with the band-aids that oftentimes um, are, are used to um, pacify the masses. And so uh, I think a number of these presidential pardons kind of fall into that vein. And, and so what I don't want is for us to get lulled and not think that we still have to have um, police reform. We have to have community reform, that we have to um, go to the, the legislature, uh, both local and, um, and federal, uh, to get things um, to, to shift the paradigm around uh, the role of police. I do find it e interesting that one of the more affluent um, areas in, in the Twin Cities, uh, suburban areas in the Twin Cities, has an armored car with a sound weapon on top, right? And um, I'm wondering, you know, I'm trying to think in my mind, like what situation would call for such a weapon? Where, where would that be needed? Um, and I personally can't think of many, but I'm also not a trained police officer, so I'm not going to suggest that that I know how or what they should be doing with that vehicle. But what I will say is um, I find it interesting that they, one of these affluent areas has one, and I would imagine that an, another area that considers itself just as affluent would not be outdone by that place. And I would imagine that other suburban uh, affluent areas would not be outdone by their neighbors. And so um, what I think is interesting is that we, we have this um, in our police forces, in our municipal police forces, we have this kind of arms race, if you will. Um, and so um, if, if those, you know, smaller suburban affluent communities think that they have to have uh, these kinds of things, I can't imagine the kinds of conversations that happen in more of our central cities, our urban areas, where uh, the potential for the use of these kinds of tools, uh, policing tools, might actually be necessary. And so w would they say that because those outlying areas have a armored uh, vehicle, that we should have seven armored vehicles because we have the likelihood of blah, 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 blah. And so, again, I, I want us to think upstream a little bit and not just deal with um, the, the, the prima facie um, experiences that are, are, are given to us or the way that um, media or um, or people with specific agendas are trying to portray um, these these resolutions and so yeah I, I think um, if I can get my buddies pardoned I would like that I think that would be cool but I don't know that that necessarily deals with the systemic issues that um, that we need to talk about in terms of um, community policing versus what broken window policing. And if you want to hear more about those particular things, stay tuned to uh, to this channel. Find us on uh, on Patreon on armchairactivistspodcast.com, andrecohen.com, amhorizons.com. We're all over the place. And we talk specifically about the difference between community policing and broken window policing. Um, but that's just one aspect of, of many. Um, I'm starting to ramble, so that means it's time to go. This is Andre Cohen. Um, be good to each other, and we look forward to seeing who you become.
we're out of here. <laughs>